Hi, I'm Javel. And I'm Rain. We are local artists here in Winnipeg. And today we're checking out Queen's Chicken and Barbecue here in Winnipeg at 1045 St. James. Oh god, I'm nervous. Sing a song about Queen's Chicken. <laughs> oh no! Okay. <laughs> uh, where's my guitar? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, we can, okay, uh, okay, we can edit it. <laughs> I love my chicken and you. <laughs> it's so tender and juicy. So I like it sweet. But I like it spicy. Do the other day. Okay, Michael Bubba. <laughs> Describe your style of music. Sing a sample. I'm still exploring my music, but right now I'm focusing on jazz and pop music, like mixing it together. I'm thinking Get Here by Alita Adams, because she's one of my inspirations. Uh, you can reach me by railway, you can reach me on a trailway, you can reach me on an airplane, you can reach me with your mind. <laughs> I can hear the echo from here. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I would say my style of music is similar to yours, jazz and pop, but I'm also still exploring um, different types of genres. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of my friends say that I have a voice for ballads and um, mm -hmm. R&B, so I'm trying to dip my toes into there. Um, I'm trying to think of a song I can sing to. <laughs> um, oh, Moon Dance by Michael Buble, because that was actually the first, one of the first jazz songs that I discovered through high school and it's become one of my favorites. Well, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance With the stars up above in your eyes A fantabulous night to make moments Neath the cover of October skies This is like fresh chicken. Yeah. That's amazing, you guys do a lot of work. Wow. Not easy, right? <laughs> the real honey too. Yeah. The honey, yeah. This is the one I've been looking forward to. It's the sweet and spicy Korean chicken. It's uh, our sweet and spicy chicken. This is a Korean traditional style. This is a never frozen, we just marinate. Okay, this is the Korean chicken barbecue. Honestly, this is my favorite Korean food. But no one serving it in Winnipeg. So I tried to serve it and I tried to introduce you guys. But so far, so good. Actually, this is a good combination with the meat and vegetables and extra cheese. Usually, when you guys eat here, we just melting cheese on the burner and then make dips like the fondue. We call it chicken fondue. And this is a looks like sushi, but don't compare with the sushi. This is a we call it Korean kimbap. See, people always ask for the soy sauce. No, it's the own taste. Just try it. Also, this is a we call it Korean spicy noodle. We call it ramen noodle soup. This is a basically also spicy base. And there's a bean sprout. The Korean skewer. The basically it's a simple like rice cake grill, and there's a little small cafe, so this is grill too. But we just marinate with two different sauces. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs>
I'm gonna draw another question. <laughs> well, he does that, I'm gonna try the swing girl. <laughs> okay. Uh, since you're in a Korean restaurant, what is your Kore favorite Korean dish? Um, I think for me, definitely the sweet and spicy chicken. But also, um, I love uh, sundubu soup and uh, bibimbap. Mine is the, this one, soy garlic, because it's savory. And like I like how it's crunchy too, and the inside is really good. It's just the perfect mm -hmm. amount of spice and sweet. Mm -hmm. It's not overpowering. I love it. Really scrumptious. One word. I love it. No, that's no, three no, words. No, that's three words. That's three words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try the chicken barbecue. Okay. That tastes like heaven. <laughs> that's really good. Sweetie! It's really chewy. Now I'm about to try the sausage. Mm. It's a really great flavor. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's why I like Korean food too. Um, wow. This has to be the best Korean snack ever. I'm not, I'm not lying. I want to try it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, kidding. <laughs> That tastes really, really good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I would compare this to like Filipino barbecue. Ooh, the, yeah. the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. it, that's how good it is. <laughs> awesome. This is really good. Oh, I'll draw another one. Wow. I like that. Your musical influences. Okay. Um, I would say my music influences uh, varies within genre. Definitely for pop, uh, I love Adele. Um, her her voice is just so powerful. She's like she's like the motherhood of powerhouses. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, in in her generation, she is. Um, she has a very like strong uh, like vocal presence. Um, and also Michael Bublé, of course, with jazz. And from there, I discovered jazz artists that I've never heard of, like Frank Sinatra, um, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Chet Baker. I would be Influenced also by like uh, Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, okay. and a little bit of Taylor Swift. Oh, cool. yeah. wow. um, as for me, well, I consider myself an old soul. So like, I listen to 70s music, from Carpenters to Bill Withers, and um, I also like Nora Jones, mm. um, Nat Cole, everyone from like the jazz world, really. And uh, as for the Pop genre. I really like Adele, Dua Lipa, Alicia Keys, like every alto pop girl. I really like them. So. Cheers! Wow, this is so timely. How do you deal with performance anxiety, if any? I do get this a lot. Um, my voice teacher uh, taught me some rituals doing a bit of yoga and meditation, listening to like peaceful type of music, mm -hmm. and also like I just like body like shaking type of thing. So yeah, that's how I do with my music. Nice. I didn't know that. Um, for me, I do stretches during before uh, doing a performance, but also doing a little bit of warm up so that way like um, I know like my voice isn't gonna crack or anything on stage. But also I take at least five deep breaths uh, mm -hmm. just before going on stage just so that I know I'm at peace of mind funny thing, <laughs> this is what I do I always tell myself um, before you go on stage just just think of it as a big karaoke screen in front of you but just with people watching you <laughs> just to add I do like a little bit of self affirmation mm, like in front of the mirror too. like it really helps me mm -hmm. Right now, we're gonna try the ramyu noodles, which is uh, Korean noodles. Um, this looks really good. Mm -hmm. like, um, <laughs> like messing up with the utensils. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. What about what I love about Korean food? Is it, there's so much flavor to it. There is. Like. Yeah. Ooh. What do you think of the spice level? The spice level is just perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, which local artist would you like to collab with? Ooh. And which international artist would you like to collab with? Ooh, okay. Um, so local artist, I've been a big fan of her <laughs> um, since I discovered her in 2019. And her name is Fosia. And her voice reminds me of like a mix between Adele and Demi Lovato. Mm -hmm. Like her voice is just so powerful. And when she does like those crazy riffs and runs, I'm just like blown away. And an international artist I would love to collaborate with. No surprise, it's gonna be Leve. <laughs> Leve is a uh, like Gen Z uh, jazz singer that we both love. I was just very happy that she is one of um, the artists now that are bringing back jazz. Because it's, I feel like it's very like. I don't want to say underlook, but it kind of is that way for our generation at least. Mm -hmm. like it's not very, it's not appreciated as much. So yeah. I'm very happy, like, like Leve and so many other artists, like uh, uh, Samara Joy. Uh, oh yes, is bringing back jazz to a whole new generation. As for the international artists, I like to collab with Leve as well mm. because her music is so raw. And, like there's just so much musicality to it, and I'd like to collab with Adele. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's just so much power in her voice and the way she performs too. It's like she's really well connected to her audience and she's really good at storytelling, which I really admire. So. I also like to collab with Adhira Nala. We haven't met personally, but I've seen her work and it's really amazing how she juggles like, songwriting, pop music, and musical theater. Highlight of your music career so far? Ooh, there's so much. Um, I think it's when I joined the World Championships of Performing Arts in California. Because not only I showcased my talent to so many people, I also got to meet people from different parts of the globe, and I'm still connected with them. I still talk to them, and I'm looking forward to work with them as well. Yeah. What about you? Um, for me, uh, I would say the highlight of my music career so far would probably be singing in two of my dream stages. Yes! Like, this past summer, I, I played at the Cube stage, which was one of my dream uh, stages uh, when I first saw like a lot of bands perform at the Winnipeg Jazz Festival. Mm -hmm. I also performed at the West End Cultural Center, just oh, yes. one song, but like, that, that was such a really nice feeling to perform on a stage that you have dreamt of performing on for so so long in front of us in front of a crowd and that was that was such like a reassuring feeling like like you're meant for this. Um one of my highlights too is performing with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra while also singing Filipino music. So that's kind of a big deal because it's not every day that you get to sing with an orchestra singing like classic OPM songs. So that's really a big deal for me. And mm. also um, the Filipino Heritage Night at the Jets game. That's one of my highlights too. And it's so nice to be represented and to feel seen and heard on that kind of setting. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. What? What is this? K-pop group. Sing a line or two from one of their songs. Oh no! My favorite K-pop group is probably Red Velvet. They're actually okay. the, one of the first K-pop groups I got introduced to. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I actually never listened to K-pop uh, before the pandemic. Because of the pandemic, I listened to a lot of K-pop. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna butcher the, these words, but you got me feeling like a psycho. Psycho! Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah. Another uh, K-pop group I, I love is uh, of course, everyone's uh, black. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have yet to explore K-pop music, but I know this one song, and it's really good. It's Butter by BTS. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. It's so catchy. And wow, it really sounds good. So sing it. <laughs> That's not butter. It is. That's a chorus. 
Don't include that Is in it? the video. Wait, oh no. <laughs> Smooth like butter, 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 like the criminal yeah, undercover. <laughs> I can see the army like commenting on this. Oh my god! <laughs> Please do not. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna tag them too. <laughs> uh, describe how might it look like for you five years from now. Um, I've learned to just live in the moment because, um, like, I don't want to plan like my future is so far ahead because sometimes it doesn't go your way, but sometimes it does. But um, I've learned to just ride the waves and uh, live life just straight on. Don't even look straight to the future. I totally see myself uh, like wanting to perform on stages a little bit more. Um, I love performing, um, so that's one of the things I would want to see myself in five years. I think same goes for me because I worry about my future a lot, but um, I've, I'm slowly learning to live in the moment. And um, but I do have goals in the future, which is to perform not just locally but internationally. My biggest dream is to go on tour with not only me but with like talented people like you. And I'm looking forward to releasing more originals. I want to do storytelling but through a song, and I. And you know, I want to be able to inspire other people. Wow, this is an interesting question. How can you make Winnipeg a better place? As for me, what I can do personally is to spread more music. I think when I moved here in Winnipeg, I noticed that the arts industry is booming, especially in terms of music. Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking forward to doing too is just, you know, explore like and share music as well as you know again inspire people to do the same mm. and to share the same love for music i would love to highlight more um, of the younger generation just because yeah. i feel like they're they're the underdogs mm -hmm. um, in winnipeg you don't really get to see them pursue what they want to do like for example music mm -hmm. or business and it for me kind of sucks to see that mm -hmm. where they don't get as much representation Right. Love to highlight the youth a little more, just because like they are the future uh, of everything. And mm -hmm. in my opinion, like with with all the younger entrepreneurs, artists in Winnipeg, I feel like they're gonna be the ones to make Winnipeg a uh, exactly. place. Advice for someone starting out. Okay, I think this is a very good one. One advice I can give is to honestly don't be scared. Go for it. Um, whatever you want to pursue in future. Um, it's totally up to you. Uh, you are in control of, of uh, your own future. Mm -hmm. And do something you love. Because like, in the end, um, like doing something you don't want to do and hate will probably make your life kind of hell, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> I'll just say, like, like, go for it. Don't be afraid to pursue something you really want to pursue. Um, like for me, um, I really wanted to do music, mm -hmm. but of course, uh, my parents didn't let me just because um, they thought I wasn't going to put money on the table, and I was scared of that. But after I graduated, I still wanted to pursue music, mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to pursue it in a way where I enjoy it and where people can enjoy it. So um, that's why I took a leap of faith to do uh, songwriting, and mm -hmm. I just enjoyed it. Yeah, I had a lot of pieces of advice. Um, and this goes for any type of field you want to go into. Um, first and foremost is to practice. Always, always practice. Uh, do whatever it takes to hone your talent because there's always a room to learn. And um, second is to never compare yourself to anyone. Everyone has their own unique skills. And there's always a room for you to showcase what you have. And lastly, the most important thing is to always keep your feet on the ground. It's always like, have to be humble and don't forget like to look back on your beginnings or your roots. And yeah, just keep exploring and make connections. Yeah. Okay, so before we go to the last question, we're gonna try the Korean gimba. And no, it is not sushi. <laughs> yep. Uh. This is their uh, Korean rice bowl. Mm. 
this so strong? <laughs> oh my god. That's delicious. <laughs> oh, that's really good. So there's a egg. There's a crab meat. Ham. There's carrots, seaweed, and rice. Mmm. Yeah. That is really good. That's really good. Cheers. Mm. What can local organizations or government do to help young local artists? Um, I think it's not just about like monetary grants or like donations, mm -hmm. but also like it's also good for them to actually reach out and talk about their goals and maybe organize events that has a good audience reach um, and that way they could showcase a lot of you know local talents and who knows maybe they could get exposed to another like different type of audience so i think that would be really cool, like to actually reach out and talk to them yeah. what did you guys think of your experience here at queen's chicken Okay, so far, um, everything that we've eaten was super delicious, super scrumptious, very flavorful. Um, I will definitely go back here. I think I've found one of my favorite Korean restaurants, um, definitely in the city. And I just had the best Korean snack, and the chicken, um, they actually so fresh, um, and they're so flavorful, very scrumptious, 10 out of 10. I wouldn't give that a 10 out of 10. I would say I would give this a 100 out of 10. That's actually so true. It's really, really good. Yeah. We just want to thank Queen's Chicken, David, and the staff here for inviting us to try out these really delicious uh, Korean dishes. If you want an authentic Korean experience, make sure you come down at Queen's Korean Chicken and Barbecue located at 1045 St. James. We also want to thank Around the World in Winnipeg for inviting us to check out Queen's Chicken. Support local! Yes, support local. Yeah.